burns. That burns incredibly, incredibly so. All right, what is up, guys? It is Monday morning, um, basically under two weeks now. I would say like 12 days now. I haven't read my app yet. Um, I have a little countdown app. Um, definitely, definitely feeling it right now. I, I look, I feel as I look. I look as I feel. It's like the bodybuilding thing. So if you look good, then you should feel bad. So we're heading over to Fitness FX. I'm gonna, I already finished my cardio. Well, I did my, um, I did uh, 70 minutes already of cardio. The rest have to finish today. I'm gonna go film this workout, chest today again. Um, really just like, just a pump workout. Like I'm just really just trying to exhaust the muscle. Nothing strenuous, just exhaust, get my muscles really like, you know, working and then pose after. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what I'll be doing, capturing that. And then I gotta get home and film because tomorrow I'm leaving for Hamilton to finish my last shooting day on set and our set changed city. So I'm flying basically to Toronto tomorrow to finish the um, my last day of shooting for the series, for the TV series. I won't be filming anything like at home stuff. So I'll be still filming, uh, you know, in the gym tomorrow. I'll get that, but I won't really get my talk head stuff done because I'll be very, very busy from tomorrow. And, and I'm, I'm gone from Tuesday until Thursday. So, um, I gotta make up, I gotta make sure I get my talk head videos done today. And then right after that, you know, flout when I get back, I'll do, um, you know, I'll get my, I'll, I'll always have my training because I got um, a videographer and stuff out in uh, um, in Hamilton, which is good. So I'll be able to get that, but the talking stuff won't be able to get until I get home. So, and then when I get home, I'm doing that and then getting things ready because I'm leaving for Romania for the Masters Zoe the week after, um, the week Wednesday when I get back. So I get back on Thursday, then I'm leaving the next Wednesday. The last time I did a show was, was spot on when it came to my, you know, carving up. Instead of doing, you know, you know, a burger or whatever, I just did cream of rice, um, almond butter and protein powder. And I ate like, I think I had like 100, 100 grams of carbs, unreal. But it sat well on my stomach, slept like a baby, was hard as, hard as nails the next day. You know, in my ebook I wrote, like I'm basically like everything I've learned how to do, like basically I, I'm, I'm teaching you guys that. It's in the book, which is awesome. But like the thing is like, you know, I pick foods, um, choices and, you know, and certain meals that I know will be satiating that will fill me. Like, like yesterday's, yesterday my meals were morning meal after I did all of my cardio. It was a trails a rest day, finished all my cardio, hour and a half straight. One home had um, cream of rice, 45 grams of cream of rice, one scoop or 35 grams, one serving of ISO smooth, 15 grams of almond butter. And that's all I had. And then I went and we did our, um, our, our daughter's uh, little graduation thing. You know, I know how to, I guess, manipulate my food in a way where I'm getting what I need for calories, macronutrients, you know what I mean? And then like now, like from now until like, I'm basically gonna, I'm gonna basically deplete again today. Tomorrow I'm going to eat. Um, not tomorrow, but on um, the day before, uh, sorry, the day of, I will eat on set because I can't have the sunken in face. You know what I mean? Like this is one season. And my start of the season, it was, I was, you know, pretty good, but like my face can't be death face. So I have one day basically and I'll be like my, not necessarily a refeed, but I'll have, I'll eat more calories at that point. And then right after that, I'm done. And I'll be on zero calorie, zero carbs, basically like, you know, veggies and meat until Friday. Anyway, so that's it. Anyways, I'm just train this chest. Do chest and then pose and then I'll be good. Okay, so I'm just, this is gonna be the next uh, week of training, two weeks, or will just be like feel. Literally, I'm feeling everything. I have in my mind what I wanna do, but it's like how I feel. So I'm walking to the gym, I feel a certain way. 
you know, I know I'm going to do a press and you know, I'm going to spend some time in accessories. What order that's going to be in depends on how I feel. So today I feel like gassing myself out with flies. I connect the most with that. I get the most amount of blood in there, um, less impact, and I can keep the intensity pretty high and torch myself still. That's how I feel today. That's how the next two weeks will be because I'm not going to grow anymore whatsoever. There's zero muscle I'm growing. All I'm doing is like keeping the muscle, it's almost like I'm pumping it up to keep it pumped up so it doesn't keep deflating. If that makes any sense. Full disclosure as well too, this is, I have my greens in the morning obviously. And I have my greens again before I train. And, uh, and then I need to find a song that kind of just lets me just focus on the song and feeling and not anything else. So we're gonna do flies and just start out from here. I you guys watch if we, uh, any handles, they move. So what I do is if I find that it's not heading right, I can move, you can move this, right? It's a little trick you guys don't understand. If it's like this, you feel like, ah, oh, I can't, just move it. See, I wanna get underneath it. So this was kinda like this, and I want it to be here. When I'm pressing, it gives the same. <sighs> so all I have is I took uh, PPK pre workout that has the pink Himal Himalayan sea salt, coconut water powder for electrolyte balance, but from that as well. I'm getting a massive pump. So I'm able to still sustain the pump. You can tell when somebody's really flat. It's like their, their veins will pop and then they'll go away, like almost instantly, or you won't see them pop at all. So kind of way to know if you're flat. You have to be lean enough. You can't be like not lean, like I'm flat. It's like... more set from high to low you can like you can't like really isolate like one part like the entire chest like every muscle is gonna work you put you loading it you're gonna feel it in that place you're loading more than the other I don't feel as much under here where I'm doing you know and I'm pulling down I'm not actually pulling down so I'm still challenging my shoulder in terms of flexion so I'm still working this muscle here as for down here, I haven't. So you can load the muscle by feeling it. Oh, and the goal is to exhaust the muscle. Take my sets to a closer failure. So it doesn't have to be at a massive load. So you can see him bring going underneath. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, that burns. That burns incredibly, incredibly so. Got a Shakespearean on your ass. My chest so thou burneth beneath the heart of the soul of the wretched. Like with this one, pin, make sure you pin your ass right in the back. Like make sure your back's right on here. I get a message from a notification from my athlete who's competing. We're, in the, we're exact same amount of days and weeks out. He's like uh, physically, mentally feeling drained, but there's only 12 days left, so 
who can overcome whatever. I'm just like, thanks, bro. Like, it was literally happening in the last six reps. So since this touches all the way back where I full ranges, and I can still say active, so I'm, that's my range of motion is touching and chest staying active. I love the way this feels. It's challenging in all the right places. I can keep my shoulders and my chest up. My lats are engaged, I'm pushing on. This is like the perfect scenario for me. So I'm gonna sit on this until I'm sick of it. Until I can't do five reps. One more set of that. I like stretching out my lats because I'm doing this when I'm pressing. My back looks like this. So in between, I gotta loosen up my lats a bit. So this also gives me an idea of my like pump up routine. So right now, you know, being depleted, I've done 70 minutes of cardio already and then roll right into training. And this is what I look like right now without any carbs in me, right? So like water and pre-workout. So it kind of gives me an idea of like, okay, so if I've done these two exercises so far, my chest feels like this. So the next thing for me is like making sure that this stays, this stays pumped and then also my rear delt because I'll be mostly in positions where I'll be like this, or like this, or my back double, or whatever. So, continued illusion from here, and then from here. So I'm gonna do front raises, dumbbell, and then I'm gonna roll into ladder raise. And again, I'm gonna use that technique I use to get myself into a front relax. So front relax, my positioning from the side looks like this. We look like this. Right, we're doing this. And you can see where my delts are working. So I wanna mimic that, that motion while I'm doing it because I'm only really growing out from my lats and my rear delts a little bit, they're activated. And then everything else is kind of like relaxing, not really doing much. Then I you know, flex my arms so I don't move, so it looks dominant here. But this, basically, it's what I wanna do here. I'm gonna do this and these. So with this, I want a lightweight so I can Replicate doing this. So if you watch when I move my arm, I'm doing this. That's my that's my pec. My pec. I'm doing this. So I want my pec to do this with a load. now how hard it is to do talking heavy videos right now and that's the same conversation i had two years ago with fuad and i was like you can't serve two masters meaning like you gotta like when it comes to bodybuilding it disrupts everything in your life everything because in order to do it at this level there is a level of of selfishness that comes with it that i've been doing very well to balance nonetheless it's still the, even balancing it, the fact that you don't have enough energy to carry out 
the normal things you would do on a day to day. All that is that much harder, you know? So it's like, I love this. I can't wait to put all of this, this chapter of my life behind me. Like bodybuilding, I did it. I made it to where I want to go. Now, move on. The only good thing about this, and every bodybuilder can test this, the only thing that makes it kind of worth it, like when you're here is watching yourself when you're lean, is you're like, whoa. So you want to just like watch and do more reps just so I can see it. But seriously, it's like when you look at it and you're like, I did this. It's like the, uh, it's that um, the instant gratification of looking at yourself in the mirror and seeing your hard work instantly in action. That's super fun because that's the most you'll be, that's the most you really even see it. Because when you go on stage, let me say, I got a routine is two minutes. Let's just say the longest call out, five minutes. Let's say five minutes in total. I'll be on stage and all of the hours that went into this for five minutes on the stage. I watched a dude the other day just win. He came like, he placed, I'm gonna say who it was, but he placed and you see him peeled. His routine was good. The check underneath him said $200. I was like, You do this thing because you because you love doing it. You don't do it for money, that's for sure. But it just doesn't give you enough for you to sacrifice so much into it. Take what it gives you and run for the hills. Oh, wrong one. Oh, great. <clears throat> and with this, I'm trying to keep the dumbbell like slightly, only even like tilted. So the picky comes in, literally holds his weight without having to worry about anything. That's a pinky, it doesn't move. That's why it's good to have it. I'm gonna do anything with this hole there. Let it rest. I don't know what the f they're playing here. <laughs> I was supposed to be motivational, but it sounds cheesy. And he returns to the mountaintops. It's a song from a video game, sounds like. The Dungeons and Dragons. More like that. Two more. There you go. Oh my god. I brought my posing trunks out here. Where? I put them on, I was like, ooh, these are custom. Shout out to Iron Monkey for the trunks. I've had them since the last time I competed. I thought I'd never bring them out again, but lo and behold, they were there in the mix. A velvet shining, shimmering color caught my eye. Funny thing is, is that at one point in my life, I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing that thing. You gotta wear a dumb banana hammock. He made fun of me. At one point in my life, I made fun of me. I still do. <sighs> Finito, we pose, around, we go. We start the day. Seeing the posing room.
It's getting harder and harder and harder. And I gotta finish my routine. You'll see that. But um, I'm gassed. The work is done. I gotta finish my day, start my day. Well, continue my day. Got a big week ahead of me until next week. So, videos as much as I can daily. Actually, videos daily. Binge watch my shit, watch the rest of the episodes prior to this. Until next time, guys, you know how it is Iron Shepherd's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing.